Heinbach and Audio Thing have teamed up for a fourth time to bring us a brand new plugin called Noises. Now, this thing is cinematic textures and soundscapes all day long. And I'll tell you right off the bat, it sounds amazing. So let's dive in. I think Heinbach is such an interesting composer, and he's definitely carved out his own niche in the world. He's someone that collects old test equipment, old tape machines, old synthesizers, and just random things that make weird noises. And he's able to create amazing soundscapes and textures that I've just never heard before anywhere else. So that's one thing I'll say about Noises right off the bat is it's a very unique plugin, and you're not going to find soundscapes and textures like this literally anywhere else. So this is Audio Things Noises, and it should be noted that you do not need a keyboard with this. As soon as you place this onto an instrument track, or at least in Pro Tools, it starts to make noises. In fact, you can see this meter bouncing up and down right here. That's uh, the plug-in right after I put it on. It's already generating noises. So I'm going to unmute this, and so you can hear this is just the first noise that it made as I brought it up. And I'm going to hit this little button right here, this dice button, and that just randomizes the sounds every time you hit that. And you can just see right off the bat, without even using presets, how you can just create some amazing landscapes. And then I'm going to demonstrate in this video how you can use these landscapes to make really cool uh, textures with just using just a few other elements to make really great like cinematic textures. So let me go ahead and unmute that track. So right off the bat you got something pretty cool. I'm going to randomize it. Randomize it again. Some cool stereo stuff going on. I'm going to randomize it again. this one so again you got these amazing cinematic textures and I'm sure you could use this for so many things but for me as a composer I just start thinking movie scores and cinematic landscapes let me show you some of the as this sound is playing I'm going to show you some of the settings here you can change the pitch right here Here's your out gain. You have in and out right here. Here's the trips feature here. So as you engage the trips feature, it's going to sync to whatever tempo that you have set in the song. Or you can just adjust the speed knob um, and just change it to whatever you want. See, it has a little knob called fuzzy. Let's turn that up. You hit the randomize knob again. All right, so let's try this cut off. Oh, we gotta turn that on. Let's try resonance. Now this crusher here, I really like. Watch what happens when I uh, turn up the down sampling. Now that mixes all the way up. Let me back that down. Turn up the level here. Crush it some more. Let me turn the bits down too. So you can just see, I literally just randomly played some stuff and messed around and you have amazing textures right off the bat. But I want to show you three examples of how you could use this just to create some uh, really cool cinematic landscapes. And I did these super quick in maybe like 35, 45 minutes. Um, and I did three examples and literally just how I just showed you, I pulled up a sound. Um, randomized it a few times until I got something that was cool and added 
two, one or two things to it to just show you how easy it is to get some really cool, big uh, cinematic landscapes using this plugin. So, so here's the first sound that I got, and then I'll, I'll show you the sound by itself, and then a couple textures I added to it, and you see how easy it is to just create cinematic feels with this plugin. Okay, so that was noises just by itself, and then I added a little piano layer, and this is what you got. Look out, Hans Zimmer, I have noises now. What can I not do? So you can see how simple it is to just create some really powerful, like ambient cinematic landscapes. Let me show you the second example. So first, here's the original track generated by noises, and then I'll show you what I added to it. So here's the original. So that one just had a really cool drum feel to it. So I just added a little lo-fi like drum loop and then just a super simple keyboard line and this is what I came up with. So once again, you see how easy it is to just create these textures. I mean, these textures as a composer get me really excited because those type of textures are really what give you that grandiose cinematic feel. So just having those on hand to be able to kind of instantly pull up this really cool, powerful cinematic atmosphere is just super helpful and it's really inspiring to have those background layers and sounds. It just makes me want to write music. So let me show you the third example. So first, here's what I started off with from Noises and then I'll show you what I added to it. Now with this one, I just added like a bass drum pulse to it and some strings in the background. So here's what I got. So once again, you just kind of have that instant drama and it's just so enhanced by this plugin noises. I think it's also just a great looking GUI. So great job by Audio Thing and Heimbach. I should mention that this is not a sponsored video. So this is just my opinion of this plugin. But Audio Thing was kind enough to give me a copy of this to review. So I want to say thank you to Audio Thing. The last thing I'll say about this plugin is I think that we all want to have tools that inspire us to create music. And this, for me, inspires me to create music. It just creates these amazing textures and instantly I start hearing music that I want to put over these textures. So, so for me, that's the mark of a great plugin. If it inspires me to create music, that's a big win. So if you got some value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. Also subscribe to this channel. I put videos out every single week. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so that you'll be notified when I release new videos. 
Also, I recently did a review of Audio Things Gong Amp, which is another collaboration with Heinbach, and you can watch that video right here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.